November 24th, 2011. This date was just five days after the end of Minecon 2011 and the day that the very first Minecraft snapshot ever came out, which was a snapshot for Minecraft 1.1. And what was in it? A bug that fixed how double doors opened with redstone. Yeah. Snapshots have definitely come a long way in the five years that we've had them. Given how nostalgic people get over earlier versions of Minecraft, it's worth having the discussion of, are snapshots hurting or ruining Minecraft? It's a statement I've heard every now and again, and I figured I would make a video about it. So let's get the discussion rolling. So let's just launch right into the discussion of whether or not Minecraft snapshots are negatively affecting Minecraft. From the launch of Minecraft in 2009, all the way until the pre-releases of Minecraft Beta 1.8, the public at large never got to play with Minecraft updates until the day they came out. Exact crafting recipes for new blocks, mechanics, functionality, and appearance may have not been entirely known until that day. We'd get the occasional video from Notch or Jens showing off some big new feature, like when Notch showed weather for the first time or Jens showed pistons for the first time. It put people on the edge of their seat, eagerly anticipating the next update. So did snapshots kill that enthusiasm? If you want to look at it purely from a sales perspective for the Java edition of Minecraft, then no, it didn't. Minecraft Java sales didn't really start declining until 2014 and 2015. From the game's initial inception all the way until late 2013, sales figures were going up. If you want to see it from a community perspective, I would also say no. Whenever a new snapshot came out that involved some major new addition to the game, people still got to test it out and play with it just as they would as if it were a major version release. The excitement was still there to be had by all. The difference of course being that if things break in a snapshot, the community can't really freak out about it. I mean, who watching this video was around for the near catastrophic release of Minecraft Beta 1.6? There were no snapshots during that period, and because of that, Beta 1.6 required six bug fix patches in five days for it to not be a buggy mess. So snapshots have definitely been proven to be worth it. They provide the ability for Mojang to release stable updates without really ruining the magic of new content. It merely shifts when we get to play with new content. So what's led to the decline of Minecraft Java sales? Well, I think a few things. To a small extent, the EULA changes from 2014 leading to a decline in multiplayer servers and to a much greater extent, the lack of truly groundbreaking updates. To put it another way, Minecraft released 1.7 came out on October 25th, 2013. We are on 1.10 now, bordering 1.11, which means in the following three years, we got three official updates to the game, 1.8, 1.9, and 1.10. And I really feel all of these versions lacked a lot of substance, aside from the command block update from 1.9. 1.8 gave us some new blocks, armor stands, doors, and banners. 1.9 was uh, the combat update, which did have a revamped end, however, but was overshadowed by the controversial combat changes. And 1.10 gave us polar bears. Yeah. Yeah. To me, it's clear what hurt Minecraft Java the most is a lack of updates. I talk about it in this video that Minecraft is a toy and that the major updates are the ones that allow you to play with that toy differently or in new and exciting ways. Many updates before Minecraft release 1.8 had all kinds of content that kept people going until the next update. If Mojang can pick up the pace with updates and maybe also loosen the EULA restrictions on servers a little bit without allowing for the extreme exploitation that caused the changes in the first place, I think that they could breathe some serious new life into Minecraft Java. And as far as the EULA is concerned, maybe allowing for the purchase of in-game currency with a certain cap on the amount per server per day you can buy or something so kids don't rake up thousand dollar credit card bills for their parents and complain to Mojang about it, I think that could help a little bit. So yeah, that about covers this topic for me. I hope you all enjoyed this slightly different video than normal. I try to not do just list content whenever I can, so hopefully it was enjoyable. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It helps out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.